Hey there, this is Dr. Evan Osar, founder of Fitness Education Seminars and developer of the Integrated Movement System. Welcome back to part two of helping your clients solve the chronic low back tightness. Recall in part one, we talked about the importance of developing neutral alignment or alignment of, of that thoracopelvic canister and more specifically, alignment of the pelvis. That the pelvis is neutral when it's in a slight anterior pelvic tilt, which encourages a slight lordosis of the lumbar spine. Many of our clients who sit for a living, which is the majority of them, are actually in a posterior pelvic tilt because they grip and or shorten down their hamstrings and or grip and shorten down their abdominal wall, which tilts their pelvis posteriorly. So we wanna make sure we help our clients let go of where they're gripping, teach them how to maintain a more neutral alignment because the low back is getting tight because the low back is trying to stop this alignment, stop this posterior pelvic tilt and that lumbar spine flexion that results and try to bring us back to more neutral. So one of the most important strategies we use in our office and we teach as part of our integrated movement specialist certification is to teach clients how to let go of where they're gripping and get more into more of an anterior or neutral pelvic position. So last video we looked at how we start in a supine position and or a prone position to develop anterior pelvic tilt and control that position. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we take that into the upright position and with how we train the core, so to speak, how we train the thoracopelvic canister to maintain that alignment. Because again, it's fine or it's great to develop it lying down, side lying, prone, and or supine. But you, the client has to be able to take that into the upright position to learn how to squat that way, to learn how to bend that way, relatively speaking, to learn how to move while maintaining relative neutral pelvis. Because our clients that have chronic tightness, their biggest challenge isn't in flexing their spine, isn't extending their spine, it's achieving neutral and maintaining control of that neutral alignment. So the patterns we use are all designed to teach our clients how to develop an awareness and the control of neutral alignment before they move away from neutral. So the next patterns I'm gonna show you out in the gym floor, we're gonna, we're gonna use the cable chop, and our cable chop pattern is really designed to help teach clients how to control rotation and how to control getting pulled out of neutral pelvis and neutral thoracopelvic canister alignments. So we're gonna go out to the gym next and I'll show you those patterns. And in, in the next video, I'll show you how do you take clients from once they achieve and maintain neutral alignment, how do you take clients out of neutral? How do you start training more rotation? How do you start training them into a more flexed position? Because again, they have to move out of neutral at many times during life and sport. But again, the most important concept here is to teach them how to achieve and control neutral alignment first before you teach them how to move out of neutral. That's how you start helping your clients with chronic low back tightness. So we'll go to the exercises next and we'll catch you next time at Fitness Insider. This is Dr.